My name is Richard Asher and I'm from Cape Town in South Africa. When I was nine years old, I used to sell handwritten newspapers to my classmates at school. Over the next five minutes, I'd like to tell you about everything that's happened in my career since then. Content. I write it, I speak it, I edit it, and I sell it. I do mostly sport, travel, and observational humor. I've got a photographic memory for sport that goes all the way back to the 80s. I've been to over 75 countries, and I've got a way of looking at the world that does make people laugh. Actually, my work has appeared on every continent bar Antarctica. This is just a tiny sample of it. And it's enough to sink a small fishing vessel. My work includes funny columns, travel features, sport reporting, investigative journalism, player features, motoring stories, and commentaries on everyday life. You're invited to come and see it all for yourself. Just tell me where and when. Oh, that wasn't just freelancing. I've been staff. I've even been the guy commissioning the freelancers. Golf Punk South Africa, editor. PGA Escapes Australia, luxury golf travel magazine, editor. Official test match cricket programs for Cricket Australia, editor. And what about Autosport, the world's leading motorsport weekly? I give you five years as a section editor, staff writer, globe-trotting race reporter, and old-fashioned news journalist. I can, and I have. I've even been paid to be the last set of eyes to read over these tiny and highly regulated little leaflets that you get with your medicine. And I've done it in Greek. Because I've done it for three of the world's largest digital sports outlets. Autosport.com, Supersport.com, and Reuters. I've done plenty of live text updates during matches, and I've posted using many a CMS. Indeed so, everywhere from Newlands to Le Mans via Wentworth. Whether it's the stuffy media box at the Gabba in Queensland, or what used to be the ballroom in Nikolai Ceausescu's palace in Bucharest, a press room is my second home. I've put my life on the line in the name of front row reporting, and I've even sent dispatches from the cockpit. Rory McElroy, Sebastian Vettel, Graham Smith, Ernie Els, Sir Clive Lloyd, Max Verstappen, Elton Yankees, Brian Mitchell, Charles Schwartzel, Juan de Jong, Brian Lara. Which cricketers are the best golfers? Shane Wan is a bandit. Um, Kapil Dev is a dangerous old man. Bryson DeChambeau. Longer term, do you see yourself being a PGA Tour player or a European Tour player? Well, that's putting me in, on the spot there, but I think that I'd love to play in European Tour events. And Matthew Fitzpatrick. What is the best thing about Sheffield? Uh, the football team, Sheffield United. <laughs> I've played 18 holes with former Open champion Louis Oosthuizen. I've driven the safety car with Mario Andretti. And I was the first journalist to talk to Lewis Hamilton when he stepped out of a Formula One car at his very first test session. Last but not least, I've had coffee with the president of Iceland. I've been doing press releases for years, and I've been doing them with the benefit of knowing exactly how a journalist thinks. I've led press trips, run social media, and sold PR content for everybody from image-conscious insurance companies and Spanish golf resorts right the way through to the South African Rugby Union and some seriously geeky software firms. I've even got full-time agency account management experience, which means you might say I've been on this side of the fence and on this side. Well, thank you. Since you ask, I have done freelance commentary for the FAA Formula E Championship, and I've also had a speaking part in an Australian TV commercial. I've even read Sports Roundup on the BBC World Service. In the tournament comes news of plans for a World Cup for the sport. Richard Asher has more. Baseball is known for being the all-American game. 
but the national side made up of minor I specialised in radio during my journalism degree at university, and I would so love to commentate on sports. Do you hold the key to that first regular mic? But I'm sure you haven't got all day, and I should save something for the interview.